Hi Pisces, welcome to your Love Tarot reading for the end of April. This is Mary and this is Sunlight Insight Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Pisces, we're going to take a look at your love energy for the end of April. See what is going on for you. For Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Male or female, general collective reading. Please only take what resonates and leave the rest, including the signs mentioned. Now, I'm putting some cards to the side. I'll tell you about that in a minute. So let's see what we have so far. We have the goddess of light. We are all sacred mirrors reflecting back at the same light. And we have the goddess of self-knowledge. The essence of who I am flows effortlessly into everything I create. I feel like you're really coming into your light, coming into who you truly are. Um, you could be creating something new right now, manifesting, using the law of attraction. And we have the word mirrors here, so in reflecting, and those two energies all, always remind me of kind of like a twin flame energy. You don't have to be dealing with a twin flame, it could be a soulmate. But your light could be attracting in somebody here that is meant to be in your path. Hmm, very interesting. All right, let's get some more here. What else is going on for Pisces? For Pisces, I'm in Rising and Venus, male or female, general collective, only taking what resonates, throwing away the rest, including the signs mentioned. Welcome in, Pisces. Hope everyone's doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. All right, I just want to take those two. And two from the bottom over here. All right. Let's see what else. Hostilities. We have 26, which is eight. Eight is about taking action, travel, communication. And we have the world energy. And we have 29, which is 11. And 11 is about, no, you're going on the right path, going in the right direction. And the world energy to me is like you have the whole world in front of you. You know, all new energy to uh, explore, a lot of new opportunities, and this is also about closing out cycles, new cycles, traveling or distance. It could be you closed out a cycle in your life that was very hostile. Not that there was any abuse or anything like that. It could have been just a lot of fighting, arguing, not seeing eye to eye kind of energy. If it was abusive, I would say I'm glad you ended that. No one should stay in that kind of a situation. But, um, and I feel like you're on a new path now. And whatever you're creating, whatever you're doing, whatever you're exploring, coming into your own, your, you know, your light. And, you know, self-knowledge, learning all those lessons and blessings. And uh, you're having new things coming into your life now. And I feel like you may have a blessed energy coming into your en um, energy. <laughs> Blessed energy coming into your energy. <laughs> uh, let's see here for Pisces. So the card that cards you see me placing over to the side there, Pisces. <clears throat> those are for your extended reading. So if this does resonate for you, and you would like to go the extended reading, you can find all that information below. And everything you need to know about me in this channel is also down there. So please do feel free to check that out. All right for Pisces. Welcome in, welcome in, welcome in. All right. Health. We have 71, which is 8 again. So we have two 8s now. And we have effort. And we have 13, which is 4, which is very stable, grounded energy. I feel like you finally put in the effort to improve your health, your mental state of health, your emotional health, your physical health by moving in a new direction. And definitely, you could actually be moving, traveling, uh, something here. Whatever this hostile energy was, I feel like you're leaving that in the leaving that behind you, and you have something. And again, um, we have effort here twice. We have <laughs> the essence of who I am flows effortlessly into everything I create, and we have effort. So whatever you're putting the effort into now, just know everything coming into you in the future is going to come to you very effortlessly because you're doing the work now that you are supposed to do, that you're meant to do, that the universe wants you to do. And now you're coming into a new light, new energy. 
And I think that's what spirit want. That's where spirit wants you to be at this point. All right, Pisces. So we're going to clarify a little bit different here. We're going to clarify each oracle for Pisces for the end of April. Love Tower reading for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Male or female, general collective. So the goddess of light. We are all mirrors reflecting back the same light. So, so we have the queen of pentacles here. This could be Capricorn. And that's usually, you know, someone who's been married. Doesn't have to be, but... This could be just pre-empress energy, you know, knowing your value, your worth, you know, standing on your own two feet. Justice. Some of you could have got a divorce here. Again, leaving this hostile energy behind. Libra energy here. Clarity, truth, balance, justice. Seven of Pentacles. Maybe something that you waited a long time because the Queen of Pentacles, King or Queen of Pentacles, doesn't matter. Could be someone that's married. And maybe, it, maybe it's something you knew had to happen, but you kept waiting and waiting and waiting. Maybe hoping and praying things are going to get better. The sun. So this is total happiness, joy, fulfillment in every single way. Enlightenment, healing, um, growth, expansion. Leo energy here. Six of Pentacles, a very balanced energy. Eight of Wands, Eight of Pentacles. I feel like, you know, you're just moving on here. And that's you, Pisces, King of Cups. Doesn't matter if it's male or female. Again, with the waiting here, three of wands. King of swords can be legal representation. So I feel you waited and waited for the right time to do this. Followed your heart. Working hard on yourself. Moving forward in a new direction. Balancing your energies out. And this will lead you to your ultimate happiness, joy, expansion. Maybe even meeting your true soulmate to inflame. Wow. All right. So we have here... The goddess of self-knowledge, the essence of who I am, flows effortlessly into everything I create. And I definitely feel like you're creating new things in your life right now. All right. For Pisces. For Pisces. For Pisces. What is this? The goddess of self-knowledge. Eight of swords. Yeah, you were stuck and bound for something that you felt like maybe at one time you can never get out of it. Like you were stuck in your head, like, oh, I can't leave, or I'm stuck in this, I don't know how to get out. Knight of Swords, you finally figured it out, you took action quickly. Once you figured it out and said, you know what, I deserve better than this, Aquarius energy here, I think, boom, you took action very quickly, and it moved forward very quickly. Knight of Wands, so you've been through it here, you've been through it, but you've learned a lot of lessons and blessings along the way. Self-courage, determination. Nine of Wands has been through a lot here. So you've been through a lot here. Yeah, so we have the world showing up again here. So this could be Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, or Scorpio. So again, could be traveling, moving, closing out a cycle finally, and a new cycle awaits you. Queen of Cups, again, that could be you. Technically, for me, it's Cancer, but it could be any water sign. This is you following your heart. Closing out a cycle. And here's my Divine Clarity from Source with the Ace of Swords. And there's that Ace there. It's like you finally lifting up that sword and saying, no more of this BS. I can't take it anymore. And again, 26.8 is about taking that action. So definitely here, Awakening, Epiphany, Aha Moment, Clearing Away Energy, no longer serving you, standing up, telling you like it is, no back, not backing down, honest, truthful communication leads to your successful new beginning. And a brand new beginning in love, self-love, spiritual love, peace, happiness, joy, fulfillment, harmony. And I feel like a new, precious, real love coming in. Yeah, hang man, there's you. But there's that deep healing. Wow. Okay. So, let's see what this hostilities is. Eight of Wands. So, again, eight, two, eight, eight. I feel like you take finally taking action. Six of Pentacles, best thing for you to do here. It's like the minor of the justice, which is right here. Best thing for you to do is to take action to balance out your energies. Page of Cups, so this could be apologies. Don't feel like it's a love offer. I feel like, hey, I'm sorry, but you know what? I'm out. I'm out of here. I'm out. It's too overwhelming, overburdening. I can't do it anymore. I can't. 
So building a new foundation for yourself, you know, Pisces energy there, you are the moon. Having a little fear of the unknown, going down a new trail, a new path, can't see the path clearly, where it's going to lead you, where are you going to end up. Five of Pentacles, so feeling a little, you know, lost. So, you know, probably holding on to everything you have, but trust your intuition in your higher knowing here. That's you again, Pisces. Wow. Tap into your spiritual energy. So we have the world here, 29, which would be 11. You're on the right path. Keep going in the right direction. Universe says don't stop. The world energy here for Pisces. The world energy here for Pisces. King of Wands, Leo energy. You know, this could be another person or this could be you finally getting in. Maybe you have a lot of fire in your chart getting in your fire energy and saying, you know what, king or queen, doesn't matter. I'm about to use all my fire energy here and have a lot of, go after this and do this with a lot of drive, ambition, passion, being courageous, strong, and brave, and determined. Four of cups. Yeah, I don't feel like, I don't, I, th I think you were bored, complacent anyway. You weren't happy. The love was kind of lost in the situation. Four of Wands definitely could have been a marriage here. But by you moving on, and I felt that with the chariot here, I think you're going to draw in eventually your true soulmate or twin flame with the Four of Wands. A very stable energy. And again, very peaceful, harmonious energy in the future. But this is also gaining your stability back. It's going to require you to do the work, though. You're going to have to work at this. Again, there you are again, King of Cups. Again, you waited to do this, and then finally, you could, you know, seek out, you know, professional help in some way, legal advice or guidance through this. Yeah, I think you have better things coming in for you, though. So we have health here. We have 71, which is 8, and I feel that's you. Again, a lot of 8s coming out here about taking action, travel, communication, putting in the work, the effort. And I think doing this is just going to improve your mental health, your physical health, your emotional health. What is this? And again, we have that red orange for that fire energy. Health for Pisces. So we have the two of pentacles and the five of swords. And the four of pentacles. Wow. So again, the two of pentacles. So there could have been a lot of juggling going around. A lot of imbalanced energies, whatever situation you were in before. You know, it was turbulent, it was all over the place, it was, you know, could have been a lot of fighting, arguing, a lot of um, emotional stress. And all this energy has just sabotaged this whole connection, you know, one-upping one another, can I don't want to say conniving, but just not a good energy, a lot of conflict. And then you just kind of both, you know, withdrew from each other, four pentacles, you know, just went into holding back mode, which was not good here, but... You know, the four and the two does give you the six of pentacles. So I think by doing this for your own health and well-being, well-being, it's definitely going to bounce out your energies, two of one. So being at a crossroads, choosing a path, again, feeling a little sad and lonely. But again, you know, work. Maybe you need to just concentrate on your work right now and feeling, you know, happy, fulfilled. You have wishes and dreams that will come true to keep fighting, keep going. Yeah, so you could have been with a, you know, a husband or a wife that was not in a good energy. But I do think you have better things coming in for you. I can feel that. So we do have here 13 efforts. And again, putting in that effort for very stable energy. And again, we have effort there and effort here. So things will come effortlessly to you. It may not seem like it now. All right, why is effort here for Pisces? Effort for Pisces. The Three of Cups. You know, sometimes I take that as reuniting, but it doesn't have to be. That could be socializing, going out with friends, family, dating. You know, maybe, you know, maybe this happened in the past, like a long time ago or a couple of years ago, and now you're ready to get back out there and date. So if this had happened to you in the past, um, I don't think this is anything about the past coming back. Just probably to confirm this is a situation, you have something better coming in for you. So if you're starting to date or you're thinking about getting back out there to date, this says to put in the effort 
to socialize. Well, yeah, because fate and destiny is on your side. If you're feeling led and guided to do that, to get back out there, socialize or date or just, you know, hang out with friends, family, you know, where and when we're able to, you know, the wheel here, destiny is going to bring in your fated and destined partner, something meant to be, things getting better, going in the right direction. This could be Sagittarius or Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, or Scorpio. Ten of Swords. Yeah, that's about the ending. Oh, I feel like I just need to clarify the Ten of Swords. Why is the Ten of Swords here for Pisces? Why is the Ten of Swords here for Pisces? Okay. Four of Swords. Yeah, so you may be overthinking this, thinking, okay, you know, I've already been through one painful, heartful ending. I don't really want another one. But it's requiring you here to take a leap of faith. You know, maybe you need a little more healing to do. But this is praying, meditating, bringing in that positive energy, positive vibes, high vibration. And this is resetting your energy back to zero to trust, jump in, take the leap of faith. Oh my God, Ten of Pentacles. So again, definitely you could have been married, but you have more growth, abundance, and wealth coming in for you. Again, trust your intuition, your higher knowing. Pisces energy there. Again, very spiritual energy here with the Hierophant Taurus energy. You know, getting what's moral, just and right, values, traditions. You could have someone very traditional coming your way. Uh, that could lead to a very highly spiritual connection. King of Cups. Well, there you are, Pisces. Three of Wands about manifesting. Very successful. It's very strong, strong connection. You could have passed life with this incoming person. Leo energy here. Divine alchemy here. Um, Sagittarius with temperance trying to bring in what's meant to be here for you. Pisces. Wow. So I feel a lot of different energies here, but I definitely feel like someone is moving on. And by doing so, the future is going to bring in so much more for you, better things for you, a true love, soulmate, twin flame. If this does resonate for you, um, Pisces, do give it a thumbs up. Be greatly, greatly appreciated. It would really help me and my channel out. And leave me a comment. Let me know what's going on for you. I mean, you could actually end up married again one day, and you may say, I'm never getting married again. Hey, you never know. So these cards will be for your extended. So, and again, everything you need to know is below. The Mystic of Peace. The Queen of Heaven and Earth. You're about to get your heaven on Earth. Caring Connections. Mm -hmm. Appreciation. I'm already getting messages coming through, Pisces. Well, there's that time out I spoke about, about <laughs> earlier. And Self-Discipline. All right, Pisces. So if you go the extended, I shall, I shall see you there. If not, best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And I shall see you next time.